No sign here. Let's check over there. Can't see a goddamn thing. <coughs> Neither can they. Stay cool. We'll get through this. <coughs> Motherfuckers. He's right there. Getting All set to shoot. Fuck yeah! The drill's through! Help me up. Somebody help me up. Over here. Hot there, Malice. What took you guys so long? Piece of shit drill cap over here! You and Lincoln both still in one piece? Yeah, we good. Where's Danny? He's pushing everything off to the side so that we have room to catch the money. All right, well, once you square the way up here, we start dropping it down. We'll make it quick. Motherfuckers killed the lights. Just worry about the money. I'll deal with this. Gotta be somewhere. Let's just keep looking. I got eyes on a suspect. Taking cover. Fuck, I ain't had this much fun in ages. They're trying to flush us out. Stay focused on what you're doing. Y'all see him? Right there. Ain't those the guards claiming to be from Baton Rouge? Looking for cover! Damn it, those guards will cut us down the second we make a break for it. Tell Danny he needs to get us out of here. And these bastards got us pinned down. Y'all need to figure something out. I got some TNT. I'll put on our side of the hole and detonate it. What the fuck is that gonna accomplish? With any luck, it'll blow a hole big enough for y'all to drop down. With any luck, Danny, do you even know what the fuck you're doing? Come on, it's dynamite. How complicated could it be? It's lit. Get the fuck away from the hole. No one really knows why Sal Marcano turned on Thomas Burke, uh, but he took Point Verdun from him and gave it to an enforcer named Roman the Butcher Barbieri, who promptly busted up one of Burke's legs. Now, Danny Burke was part of the heist crew. I mean, he was a gearhead, had never done anything like this before, but Thomas Burke insisted. He figured if the heist was a success, Sal would forgive him and return Point Verdun.